My name is Esteban Ucros. I am from Colombia, from Bogota, Colombia. A couple of friends and I started 10 years ago this project we called Popular de Lujo, and it's a project devoted to document and record what we call Grafica Popular. As any good designer knows well, the possibilities of design are not restricted to what can be done with a computer. Rather, as great as they are, computers are limited and limiting. Grafica Popular is almost by definition produced by people who don't have access to computers. Therefore, it is a visual genre that for years and years has been growing in its own terms outside of the realm of digital design. And for a long time people didn't pay much attention to it and even some people would say it was like visual contamination or something like that. How could such a large phenomena, something so key in the dynamics of the economy, something so expressive, embraced so massively, be so indisputably unworthy? And we think that's not the case. We think it's a really valuable cultural expression and, and, and we need to pay more attention to that. We had this like big exhibition in Guadalajara, Mexico, which was about showing Mexicans the relationships between Colombian and Mexican pop culture. We have tried to go beyond passive documentation. I mean, not only taking pictures, but really get to know the people behind this visual culture. I've read that no other sound systems equals the visual flamboyance of Colombians. Who knows if that's true? What I can say is that in the context of a nation which capital city is located in the heights of the Andes, where dominant culture has been for a long time that of the Spaniards' descendants, these sound systems strike as a resounding statement of cultural autonomy by the coastal African descendant population. They really feel like a way of saying, we are, we are here, and by the way, we're pretty cool. What we tend to understand as design, as formal design, is really a narrow cage. You have like these great designs, like modernist design and all these, and, but this is just a, a tiny cage. You have all this cultural, this visual culture around all that thing that it's out there, that it's so robust, so lush. We have been documenting that visual culture for, for some time, doing a lot of field trips and conducting interviews, meeting people all the time. As we've gotten a better understanding of what kind of persons they are, where the inspiration comes from, and how the works get commissioned, one of the things we've noticed is how in their case the frontier between commercial and personal work is really, really hard to draw. When we first met Arnulfo, we would keep asking him about the work he has done for businesses in Bogota but he would always divert the conversation towards some esoteric ramblings that sounded like pure nonsense to us. During his 60 years of age, he's been recurrently visited by spirits, both good and evil, that deliver messages and take him on trips. He calls all these revelations. So we told him to go ahead and paint his revelations and we would pay for them any price he set. A couple of weeks after, he showed up with stuff like this. One can only imagine how painful it would have been to live with all this inside of you for 60 years. And who knows how many spirits like these are trapped in poverty and humiliation. It is self-expression, and to me that encapsulates all its importance. We try to show people that it's a valuable platform for self-expression for populations that have been underrepresented for a long time in, in, in our country. As important as understanding the worth of Grafica Popular has been to me, it has been to discover the power of a designer's point of view. And I guess that's what I aspire to be, the takeaway message of this talk. The power of design for doing a lot more than designing. Thank you. <laughs>